Okay, welcome to another cool smartphone video. And uh, this isn't a smartphone, it's an alarm clock, as you can tell. It's a very nice GoGroove Blue Sync Tim uh, alarm clock. And you can see here that the time is displayed on the front of the device. It's kind of uh, displaying in a pulsing style on this video, it's just due to the way that the videos come out. But uh, you can control the brightness. That is as bright as it gets. This is pure daylight though, so uh, it is uh, all right in the low light and in the night time. You can have two brightness adjustments, that and that. You can see on the display, hopefully, that over here we have the date. Today is the 30th of August. Over here is the time. Uh, it's quite a large display. Obviously, the time is a bit bigger. That dot down there indicates that the alarm is on. You can uh, turn it off and snooze it by pressing the snooze button here, pressing and holding to actually turn it off. These are all touch sensitive buttons on the top here. And you can see it's a, a wooden, it is actual real wood according to the guys from GoGroove. And uh, this display is projected onto the front. What I'm gonna do is uh, sync it because it's also a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, either side of this here you can see there is a speaker there, and there is a speaker on the other side here. Now, we also have an NFC icon on the top. So it's just a matter of, and let's do a live test, putting it onto the top here. And it should, but I think I've actually already activated the Bluetooth here. There you go. It should pop up and start the synchronized, um, sort of the Bluetooth pairing process, should I say. So I'm going to do that. We should hear something. There we go. So it's synced now. So you can play tunes through this. Now the speaker on here is really rather good. So I'm gonna play some music for you. The stereo effect is rather nice. It's on now, I can adjust the volume here by pressing the up button. And adjust it down obviously with the other button. Uh, you can skip tracks I believe, let's press some. It doesn't look like you can skip tracks but Move this along a bit. So I've got to be careful so that YouTube doesn't block this video. You can make calls and answer calls rather with that button there. Now the volume, which I'll just go turn off so you can hear me, is very, very good at all. I'm gonna actually just give it a quick blast on full volume for you. So let's just do that and you can see how loud it is. We'll just, here we go. So as you can tell, the volume is very good. I must admit, this display is a bit of a Marmite thing for me. I found that the clock on the left, as well as the date, I really, I didn't need the date. I don't really need the date. I also found that when I'm sleeping, and I'm actually, when you're lying next to it like that, to actually find that snooze button is a bit of a hit and miss affair because these are all uh, touch sensitive on, on the side here. Uh, so I'd say the speakers are rather good. This on the back, um, it does have a bit of a whiff of a, 1980s hotel uh, style to it. These are the buttons that actually adjust the alarm and the clock itself so you can set the time and you can turn the alarm on or off with this. It is a little fiddly because obviously you've got to use that and then if I press the alarm button here on the back it's sort of that's turned it on no that's turned it off and then I'll press this and no, that's a 12 hour mode I didn't mean that, I want the alarm button, uh, right, so what's that, that's, uh, yeah, that's when I want the alarm to go off, that's 620, it's just that the, with the buttons actually being at the back, you're sort of not quite sure what you're pressing while you're setting it, um, but you do have, as you can see here, is an auxiliary port, so you can plug in a 3.5mm audio, if you don't have Bluetooth, you can blast out your tunes, um, without Bluetooth. Now you've also got this, look, this is a little 5 volt 1 amp output. So you can charge your phone overnight with this particular model. There's a couple of models on uh, Amazon. I'm going to put all the links on this particular review. Uh, now it does actually say that the input 
is five volts, and then it outputs one uh, five volts one amp. So it's in. <laughs> if I can get my uh, tongue into gear, so it's five volts in, uh, two and a half amps, and then five volts out, uh, one amp. So it'll charge your phone. It plugs in here. Um, the build quality is quite nice, although it is quite a large device. Uh, it's larger than my previous alarm clock, um, but this is. Uh, a very nicely designed thing. It's, it's just whether you want that date on the side and um, the touch sensitive buttons can be a bit hit and miss at times. But the, as a speaker, it's really rather good. So you can do away with your speaker in your room and you can instead have uh, this, uh, which doubles up as an alarm clock. The only thing I don't like too much is the fact that you can't use your Bluetooth audio as your wake up tunage so i would like it to maybe um control the play and the pause on your phone that would be really rather good and then it could maybe play the music first thing in the morning through the bluetooth but instead it just beeps um which is, is uh, um, a standard sort of alarm clock uh, functionality but uh, overall that's a, a look at this the uh, go sync go groove rather blue sync tin or time uh, um, alarm clock and Bluetooth speaker.